All right. Um, please, this may not be um, useful to you. Okay. If you already have put to you, all you just need to do, do me a favor by sharing this to anybody who will be in need of it. All right. I need to um, help train um, as many Nigerian youth as possible. I was with someone a few, few days ago, and then we we're talking about crypto. And he said, um, there is a lot of money in the, in, the, in the crypto space if you know what you are doing. And I said, yes. And the question he asked me was, then why are Nigerian youth not you know, focusing on crypto um, instead of going through the Yahoo Yahoo way and the rest? Well, I say, that question, I cannot provide answers to that, okay? I can't provide answers to that because even those who know who know how to do this, still find it difficult doing it actually. Find it difficult doing it. They would rather do the one that will scam people and run away with the money than do something that is real. All right? Okay, so. Digital, please, can I interrupt you a little, please? Yes, go ahead. Please, a little interruption, please. Please, can you record this um, meeting so that um, at the end, one can play it over and over for for detailed understanding or for slow learners that want to play it again and again. Yeah, I'm, I'm recording it already. I'm recording the meeting All right, already. Thank you. Yeah. All right, thanks. All right, good evening once again and welcome to the meeting today. And um, as I said earlier, our aim here is to teach you how to trade crypto, how to invest in crypto. We're going to look at crypto generally, but 80% of what we'll be doing is teach you how to trade. Okay, because um, trading is the shorter means of investing in crypto. If you want to make profit on a short-term goal, then trading should be where you would focus on. It could be trading features or trading spot. Okay, we'll look at all of those into details. But our aim today is to teach you how to make at least $100 every day trading features with Binance. Okay, we want to teach you how to trade crypto features with Binance and make at least $100 every day. And I'm going to take this further as a challenge. Okay, I'm going to take this further as a challenge. Today is 15th. So I want to assume that the remaining part of this month, for those who may want to you know, participate in that, the remaining part of this month, we're going to uh, consistently see how we can be cashing out, even uh, with the ups and downs in the, in the market or thereabout, cashing out $100 at least every day from now to the end of the month. And then we continue that challenge to the next month, okay? So to be able to do this, if you don't have um, an account with TradingView already, okay, you need a TradingView account. You can sign up for a free account. You need a Binance account, okay? You can sign up for a free account, all right? And then the bot that I use, I will probably make mention of that bot at the end of the day, okay? If you want the bot, you can go ahead and activate the bot. But if you don't want, you can actually do um, uh, whatever I'm going to show you here and still get the result. Though the result you will get will not be compared to what the board will give you, okay? But you can still get um, a good result and achieve that target of $100 every day, okay? So to just show you some proof, all right, um, let me share a second screen before we go further. Okay, so if you look at this screen, if you go to your Binance account, okay, if you go to your Binance app, this coin has been trending, it's one of the top 10 coin in Binance that has been doing very well um, since today, okay? The coin has been doing very well since today, and that coin is, you can, you can go check out your Binance app right now, and confirm that if it has not started dropping already, the coin is CVC USDT, okay? And this is the date, you can see this is the date, this is the last trade that was closed, and this is the profit, all right? This is another trade, check the date, okay? So that you don't think that I'm trying to scam you here or whatever. Um, these are real trades with real profit. If I scroll down, uh, let me close this. So if I scroll down here, you see this is another profit, okay? Um, this is it. 
this is it so just pay attention to all of the profits okay so this is another profit that you're looking at each of the three that closed there throughout today okay 15 to focus we all close in profit as you can see okay so we say i think i had up to is it um, 16 trades or there about i can't really say but all of them were closed in profit okay all of these trades were closed in profit and it was only one coin that was traded okay it was only one coin that was traded the target is hundred dollar a day but if you calculate everything i have here it's more than hundred dollar all right you will get to this level definitely you you're going to get to this level for those who will be serious you get to the level of making more than hundred dollar but for now okay let your target be that you want to make hundred dollars every day trading features okay so with that in mind um, I'll go on. I'll come back. This is from my board, but the board is linked to my Binance account. Okay. The result you're seeing is from the board, but the board is linked to the Binance account um, where I have the funds that I'm trading um, on this account. I'll come back to the board and explain to you things to you. For those, the board is not composite because they're going to pay to actually use the board. It's not composite for anybody who cannot afford it. <laughs> but if you see anything good from it and you want to use it, fine. You can go ahead and use it. All right. Um, so with that said, let me go ahead and share back my screen. Okay. This is my trading view account. Now, what is trading view used for? Um, trading view is um, a chatting um, platform that is based on the web. Okay. For those of you who have been trading Forex and the rest, you have your MT4, MT5, where you have all of your chatting indicators and the rest. But with trading view, okay. You can actually um, do analysis or technical analysis for crypto. You can use trading view for Forex. You can use it for stock. You can use it um, in as much as it requires you looking at, you know, candlesticks, looking at the chart and analyzing the chart. You can do all of that with trading view. Okay. If you need more features with trading view, then you have to go pay for, for those features. You, you have to go with a paid account. I think it's $15 a month. Okay, you have to pay, but for now, as a beginner, as a starter in this space, you need a trading view account and you need a free account to get started. Okay, though the trading view um, chart is equally embedded into Binance. If I come to Binance, okay, this is my Binance. You see here we have original. Okay, this is the original chart of the Binance exchange, and then this is trading view. So once I switch to trading view, you see all of these drawing tools here these tools are not available on the Binance chart, okay? So you can do your chatting inside the Binance exchange as well. Likewise, do it with TradingView um, if you want to, okay? So um, that is just to let you know that it's not the most you must have a TradingView account, but I will be dwelling more on TradingView. I need TradingView because most of the indicators that I have access to on TradingView are not available on the Binance exchange, all right? That is why I need TradingView. Okay, now the simple method, okay, something that has been consistent in the market, and I'm going to teach you this evening that you can even use and look at the market if you want, is using ROSI. Okay, ROSI, how to use ROSI to make uh, decisions in the market. If I come to the indicator here and I type ROSI, okay. You see, well, this is the full name of RSI. This is what RSI stands for, Relative Strength Index. This is what it stands for. It is a very common indicator when it comes to trading, stock, features, um, crypto, and the rest. You can use this to make decision in the market. And this is exactly what I'm going to teach you how to use. With the RSI, you can actually use this. There are hundreds of indicators actually on trading view you can use. But with the RSI alone, you can use it to make decision in the market and be profitable. With the RSI alone, you can make it to make you can use it to make decisions in the market and still be profitable. Okay, so let me go ahead and show you how to use that. So I already set it up on my Binance. Um, Binance. Okay, this is my Binance chart. Let me go ahead and um, put this on full screen. All right, so we only have the RSI embedded here. Okay, this is the RSI and that is the only thing we have here. Okay, 
So a simple way of using this array is like what I normally do, okay, what I do is I come in here to the RSI. Once I add the RSI, to be able to add the RSI on your Binance, all you just need to do, this is the indicator um, icon, okay? You click on the indicator here. Um, it is a bit different when you are doing this on the phone. I will show you how to do that on the phone if possible. If you come in here and type RSI, okay, you'll see RSI, you just go ahead and click on it and it is added to your chat. When it's added to your chat, come to the settings, okay? Over, over it and click on the setting icon. When you click on the setting icon by default, the RSI, you have the upper band as, at the 70 level and then you have the lower band at the 30 level, okay? What this simply means is this is the upper, let me change the line, the colors of those upper bands to um, color, change this to green. No, not this. Um, upper band changes to, let's say, yellow. Okay. And then make it line so that you'll be able to see it. And then the lower band change it to red. Okay. And equally turn this to a line so that you'll be able to see it. So if you are, if you are seeing, this is the line of, okay, the 30 level, and then this is the 70 level. Now, when this, this is the signal line, okay. This is the RSI line. This one that is like uh, moving like a snake. Okay, this is the RSI line. So what this simply means is that to be able to use this, when this is trading, just like you see here, when it is trading above the 70 level, it means that the market is overbought. And when the market is overbought, there is every tendency that the market will start retracing back. Okay, in the crypto market, the market doesn't just go in one direction. Even if Bitcoin, if we are in a bullish, a bullish um, market or in a bearish market, it doesn't go in one direction. It goes up, it comes down, it goes up, it comes down, it goes up, it comes down. Okay, just like what happened, I think it was early this morning, Bitcoin had to test $25,000. And then when it tested $25,000, people started selling. And then it started returning. So it will return, maybe get to 23, and then reverse again and go back again, just like that. So whenever the market is overbought, you go ahead and, you know, long, short the market. You're opening a short position, Okay. When it is oversold, just like you see, you go ahead and open a long position, okay? And as you can see here, you see that in all of these decisions you're making, if I go ahead and click OK um, on this, I'll come back to my own setting. This is the default setting on the RSI, okay? Let's say you entered the market here by opening a short position. This is where you started entering the market, okay? If I bring the ruler to here and just um, bring this up, to where it is. This is almost 20% move in the market. This is 20% move in the market. And it is this high because I'm looking at the time frame. Okay, the time frame is on the four hours time frame. Um, this is for those who want to, you know, hold the position in the market for a longer day because if you check here, this is 40, 45 bars, okay? 45 bars, meaning that it took seven days for this market to move from this direction to where it is right, okay? That made all this 20%. But if you don't want to stay this long in the market, you just need to trade on a lower time frame by coming to the 15 minutes time frame, okay? So if I click on the 15 minutes time frame, exactly what I'm showing you here, it was overbought here. So if I bring the ruler to, let's say you enter the market when you saw that it was overbought, okay? And then you traded. If you have followed this trend down here, this is around 3%. Okay, this is around 3% and it took this 14 hours. This is less than a day. Okay, this is 3% you would have made profit here. Okay, and then uh, when it was oversold here, okay, let's say you have entered the market somewhere here. You enter the market somewhere here. You would have been making um, around another 3% going up. Okay, now that it's oversold again, you follow the same direction, okay, and take another trade down here. This is almost 4% move in the market. So basically, those are just the simple trick you use, how to use RSI, and it can be profitable for you taking trades, okay? It can be profitable to, for you taking trades. Now, if I come back to the setting, the setting I personally use on the RSI is, instead of 70, I use 80, okay? And then I use 20, all right? So if I go ahead and click OK, all right? So here, um, I must wait for the RSI to get an accurate um, um, signal actually to enter the market. I have to only wait when this 
is close to this level here. Okay, remember the, for, the default setting is that 70. Okay, but in my own case now, the RSI had to move up to the 80 level. Once it kisses this line, it means that it is trading at 80, uh, the 80 level and above. Okay, then I can go ahead and shut the market. That way, even if I stay in the market for a longer time, once I have funds to hold my position very well, even if I stay for a longer time, it will still go in profit for me. It will still go in profit for me. Now, this is basic way of using the RSI, RSI but this does not apply to every coin. It's not every coin you just come in into the market and just pick and you know start trading, and then you expect that um, it's going to be um, in your favor and the rest. What you do is to go up to your Binance app. Okay, when you go to your Binance app, if I share that screen, I think I need to share the second screen. Let me show you how to pick your coin that you trade in a day. So picking a coin, come back to my screen. Before you start using your RSI, you need to first go to the Binance okay, app. So when you come to your Binance app, you want to come in here, okay? This is the homepage of the Binance app. You want to come and click on gainers, okay? Um, or losers. If you are looking to short the market, please go and check out the gainers. Whether you want to short or long the market, go and check out the gainers. But normally I use gainers to short the market. I'll wait for those who are gaining in the market to get to the RSI at the 80 level. I start shorting the market. Then if I want to long the market, I'll look at those who are losing in the market. And it is not every coin that, of people losing in the market that you buy, okay? Because some of these tokens are just um, not too good okay so if i come in here to the gainers this is the um cvc i just shared with you the result i just shared with you is this token and this token is still um 19 up okay it is still 19 up but as at the time i was trading this token this morning it was um actually it got up to 30 percent yes it got up to 30 something percent as at the time i was trading this morning it even before I saw it, as at the time I saw it, it was 30% plus, but it was more than 30%. And then it started dropping. Okay. When it started dropping, I now took advantage of the drop in the market. That was what actually made me all of those profits you see. Okay. This token is another, uh, you know, token that is very volatile in the market. Okay. This UNFI um, token. All right. So if you check here, you see that it was, uh, it, currently it is up by 12%, okay? It is up by 12% and there is every probability that this token in just a few period, if I check now, if I click on it, for instance, let me just click on this um, next token. So um, let me even use this opportunity to show you how the RSI work on the phone, okay? So here on the phone, these are your indicators, okay? These are your indicators. You see all of your indicators here. So anyone that is grayed out here is not active. It means that you cannot see it on the chart, but anyone that is highlighted just like the RSI, it is active. This is your RSI, okay? If you look at this token and the time frame we are trading is 15 minutes, all right? The token is already at 58 currently where it is right now. This is the number of the RSI you check here is at 58, meaning that on the 15 minutes time frame, there is every probability that this uh, line will continue to go down, just like you're seeing in the market here, okay? There is every probability that it will continue to go down. And when it goes down more on the Bolivia bands here, you see that it can come and even cross the middle band. If it crosses the middle band, it can go down up to you know the lower band here, all right? So if you enter this trade, all right, if you enter this trade, you can still be profitable in the market. All right, you can still be profitable in the market. So if I want to turn off the RSI, all I just need to do is just to click on the RSI and it goes off. If I want to turn off the Bollinger Bands, I just go ahead and click on it and it goes off, okay? And it goes off. But normally I don't trade when the coin has already gone down a bit this way. You see, you see that this coin that is trading at $12 right now was somewhere around $13. So here, when it was $13, it would have been around, the RSI would have been, okay, let me turn off the turn on the RSI again, just click on it. 
So the RSI would have been around 80, 90 or thereabout. Okay. When it's at that level, you just go ahead and open a short position. And when the market start dropping, okay, you will be in profit. That way you'll be able um, to uh, make profit in the market as long as you want to stay in the market. Um, please do me a favor. Do me a favor and mute yourselves, okay? Um, AY, if you are here, please kindly help me mute everybody that is... Um, just mute yourselves, okay? Um, at the end of the presentation, you can go ahead and unmute yourself and make your contributions, please. Thank you. Okay, the only way you use this RSI that will be profitable for you, okay, is whenever this is trading above 80, 90 plus, you go ahead and open a short position. And when it is trading below 20, that is below 30, anything from 29, 25, there, um, 15 downward, you go ahead and open a long position. When it is trading above 80, 90, 70, you go ahead and open a short position. That is the only way you use RSI alone, okay? This is not too technical. That is why I had to start with the RSI. You can use RSI alone to start making decisions in the market and you will be profitable, okay? That is how you use this on, on the trading on the Binance app itself. All right, on the Binance app itself. If I go on to trading view, so if I come back to trading view, the same thing applies. I go ahead and click on the RSI to add it up to my trading view account. Okay, this is how it appears. All right, this is how it appears. You just go ahead and click on the setting icon and then you can customize all of this. All right, you can customize all of this. I don't need the RSI based uh, moving average. I don't need that. I just need only the RSI. I can change the color to whatever I want and then make the line ticker, okay, if I want, then click okay, all right? And majorly what I do is on the input, um, here where it says 70, I normally use 80. This is my personal setting, meaning that before I take any trade, whether I want to long or short the market, before I take any trade, the RSI must be trading above 80 here. Okay, once it crosses the upper band, it means that it is trading above 80. So if I hover over it, if I hover over this, when you look, um, I, I can't move this from here, but now this line here, okay, you see that the RSI here was trading around 90, 93. Okay, if you look my screen to, to the left, you see that it was trading at 93. This is RSI. If I come to this one, this is around uh, 80 plus. Okay, 91, this was around 91 and it goes on. So when I see an opportunity like this, I go ahead and shut the market, you see somewhere here. Okay, this is um, Shiba Inu. I don't know if you knew about Shiba Inu pumping yesterday. All right. And somebody was saying, no, I want to buy Shiba Inu. I want to buy Shiba Inu. I said, please, I did, I, I actually checked. I don't, I didn't even see any news, any, um, anything that would have said that, okay, this is why Shiba Inu was pumping. Everybody was just on suspense. Nobody knew what was pumping Shiba Inu. Okay, and at the end of the day, we concluded that the wheels are at work. So when this was pumping, it was going and going and going. So if those who had saying, no, I want to buy, I want to buy, if you have bought here, all right, if you have bought around here, you see that since that yesterday or thereabout, Shiba Inu has dropped to where it is right here. Okay, from around uh, 0.0018 or thereabout. Right now, the price of Shiba Inu is currently where it is right now. Okay, so when you saw this, it was trading around 90 plus or thereabout or living here at 91. You just go ahead and shut the market and you would have made a lot of money from here. I believe you can see, you can see my, my screen. Okay, now this is what the board looks like. All right, so first, when you have access to this board, you need to link it up with your Binance account using the API. All right, right now, the only exchange the board is working with is... Um, is Binance and the board only trades features. The Meta Features board only trades features for now. It's not a spot trading board. Those of you who have had experience with the spot trading, you know that when you're in a bear market and you don't have enough money, you, you cannot make profit, but this is a features trading board, okay? And the same top 10 gainers and top 10 losers I was showing you on Binance, those are the same thing you see here. These are the top 10, okay? And this is that coin I showed you that I traded. All of that I indicated here. And if I toggle this on, it will give you, uh, you know, switch to the top 10 losers. All right. 
So um, if I scroll here, you see that the same thing Binance showed you is the same data you are seeing here. Okay, you see all of those data here. All right. Now, um, I won't go into details explaining everything about this board. I have videos that have done that already. But one thing I want to show you is why I use the board. When I come to the board, there is what is setting that the board has there that is called margin call. Okay, margin call. If I go to the setting icon, yeah, let me go to the setting. If I scroll down here, um, this is margin call limit, okay? These are the margin call limit and I have it set to 50 times. Now the margin call limit only comes in play when the market goes against you. Because the fact that I've showed you that you can use RSI to make decision in the market doesn't mean that the market will not go against you. It will go against you, okay? It will go against you. But the simple way I use this board is, um, because I have edge mode activated on my account, on my Binance account, I can open both a long trade and a short trade at the same time, okay? So if I go back to the settings again on this board, what I have done is I am using 10X leverage, okay? And because of the size of the amount I have on my account, I have added here that the first purchase amount would be $500. So I'm risking $500 per every trade, okay? Please, um, I'm doing this on a demo account. Don't go and do $500. You can start with $10, $20. It all depends. I'll give you all of the settings, okay? And then show you how much um, the um, first, my cost, okay? The first purchase amount, how much you are going to use based on the capital you have on your account, okay? Now, basically, I use this strategy to scalp the market. Now, when I go down here, there is a setting that says take profit, okay? The whole position take profit, I made it 0.1%. Now that 0.1%, what it means is that if the market move by 1% ROE, I am making 1% profit in the market. AY, if you have um, anything to say, you can go ahead and make um, that input before we start taking questions. Uh, yes, that's that's a very, very wonderful presentation. I'm sorry if my background is actually noisy. I'm actually uh, still on the road and uh, going, going home. So, however, I, I don't know. Everyone has learned something today. Yes, we can't learn everything at all in one day, but it's a very, very good thing for most of us that don't have ideas about uh, trading at all to kick start with the bot and gradually learn it gradually and we understand it perfectly so it's a very good presentation so um you didn't just um, point out so i think you forgot to also give them this uh, notion about the bot itself because Hello? i don't know can you hear me yes i can hear you go ahead oh, okay okay yes um on that part where we have signals for the bots you know, we have uh, the three times for the candles there, the 15 minutes, the three minutes. Yes, let's just use that CVC as an example, please. So at least everybody can understand. Yes, we have the one minute, the five minutes, the 15, the 30, and the one hour. Now, when you're, whenever you're using this bot, the best way to use it and to utilize the bot very well is when you is when you pick the all five. Oh, you see all those five times that, you're, that, that is ticking there. The one minute, the five minutes, the 15, the 30, and the one hour. Everything should be on one recommendation. For example, we are seeing neutral now on the 15 minutes. If one is neutral, five is neutral, 15 is neutral, 30 is neutral, and then... Uh, one is and one hour is also neutral i mean we don't know what to pick but for example if it is buy or sell then automatically we already know which 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 of them to actually pick so i don't know if anybody understand my two cents i'm sorry if my background is very noisy i'm still on my way home so that's what i would just say for now and uh, i will really welcome everybody's questions thank you so much all right thank you for their contributions um we have okay. musa we have okay. musa. I Okay, Tony, go ahead. Okay. Um, yeah, you know, um, this our meeting, weekly meeting has been very helpful and a lot of uh, our new persons are coming into. 
And before, it's not everybody here that has been attending the meeting. Few, few persons, we invited some few persons, new persons here to join us to, just like you said, um, a lot of us, especially the youth, really need to know uh, that is something like this, that you can actually do something very genuine than scamming somebody or than deceiving somebody to come and pay. You want to render service and all of that. And at the end of the day, you want to be able to, to, to satisfy that person. It's whether you learn yourself, learn what you do yourself. You can actually ask few, one or few questions from other people that are more experienced. You add to yourself and you do what you do yourself. You get yourself more satisfied than depending on somebody. And at the end of the day, like some, some of us that take signals from, we buy signals from people. By the end of the day, when you get disappointed, you start um, complaining and all of that. So now this bot has been, it's a very wonderful one. Um, and uh, we recommend for everyone. But some of us here know that they bought the subscription fee alone is $150, sorry, before um, we talk of a uh, gas fee. And some people, what I would just suggest here is that we guide some people that are still doing um, Binance, give them some little hints of how they can grow their money. <clears throat> then gradually they get money to buy the board and then stand in a better position to have that profit because some people might come in now and they won't really have that uh, money to say they want to buy the board and then uh, have another money uh, or the capital that will keep running. So for those of them that are trading Binance now, it's just a little way of uh, just guiding them, advising them on how to go about it to manage your fund. You, you mentioned controlling your, if you can be in charge of your emotion and the, the right tools, you, you do a lot. So that will just guide them. Guys, those of us that are coming new, that will come up gradually and they will grow into a bigger community that we can really leverage on this opportunity from crypto space. That is just my devotion. All right, that is noted. And um, as I said earlier, the board will not be for everybody. Okay, it's only those for those, for those who can afford it. But basically what we can do, we can try our best to make sure that we show you how to use. I just um, explained a lot of things on the RSI for you. Um, even without using the board, whenever your RSI is showing overbought, when it is showing oversold, okay, go ahead and long the market. When it's showing over board, go ahead and short the market and you'll be able to consistently make profit with the RSI, okay? And another um, thing I want to, like one of my friends asked me to do this, adding of a margin in a future trade, adding margin and adjusting leverage on an ongoing trade. So how the effect, what is the effect to an ongoing trade? If you can just say throw a little light on that. Okay. Um, I think um, based on that, I will still go to Binance and see how I can take the trades on Binance. And then we use Binance to explain everything I've explained there on the board. Okay. But before then, let me take a question. I had Musa on the line. Musa has gone up. Um, Captain, can you just unmute yourself, lower your hand, unmute yourself and ask a question before I go into this last option that uh, Tony is suggesting? Yes. Captain, if you are there, just unmute yourself, okay? Yeah, hello, good evening. Yeah, good evening. Yeah, um, I'm really, really um, grateful to be here. And uh, this is my first time being here. Um, though I'm a Forex trader anyway, but uh, I'm really, really impressed in what I have seen so, uh, so far. Though I came late. I came late, but uh, I, uh, secondly, I'm a slow learner. So um, I don't know when this, uh, this opportunity can come up again to at least uh, let's, uh, I, mean to, I mean, to teach us how to trade the uh, futures, um, futures market. I don't, know, I don't know what they call it. So I don't know when next. And, uh, uh, you said the bot is uh, $150, right? Yes, that is what it costs to activate it for a year. Okay. So I don't know, I do maybe maybe next time you come up, I might I might come I might like to like purchase the bot and uh, start trading maybe with $500 or so. 
So, but my question now is uh, when are we having another meeting to showcase uh, this opportunity? Um, we, it, it all depends on my time, but I, if I can, I'll be having the meeting on every day, every day, so that people can catch up as fast as possible. Okay, okay. Every day, okay. Yes. I'll be, uh, I'll be grateful. I'll be grateful. No problem. Thanks so much. You're welcome. Then also, there will also be communication also in the group. We will be added as to regards the meeting. You can receive, uh, receive notification. Too. Okay, 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 sir. Okay, do I'm on I'm on uh, I'm on the Telegram. Okay. Okay. okay.